kandang, kabe. <laughs> How did you get the club name list? What is the history of your club? Uh, well, first I was. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Alpas again, and today we're here for another vlog interview together with Beast. Yo, what's up, Beast, aka Baby Tarai? Kamusta? <laughs> together with my co-host again. Inside. Our first set of question is number one: Is Philippine crumb improving since the last time you came here? Yeah, um, it's improving in skill and traveling. I'm seeing a lot of people in the Philippines starting to travel to different events like Japan, Russia, different parts of Asia, which is good. Um, there's always new people. I didn't even like recognize like half of the people at the event in the 10 years, so that's always a good thing. But yeah, overall, they're improving as always, so big ups to you guys. Number two question, how did you get the crumb in this? What is the history of your crumb? Um, well, first, I was Little Beast. Um, there was a beast before oh. me. Yeah, so Beast started Crump when Crump was first started and he was in Carson. He was like a big guy and he was um, pretty good. He was good like solo. So it was like kind of a competition of who was like the best Filipino and they were both kind of like same. They just looked the same, you know. So there was like a beef between like Carson and Long Beach and then they were at a family party and they saw each other. They're like, why are you here? And it's because they ended up being cousins. So <laughs> the beef, you know, or whatever was squashed. And then, um, yeah, so when I started Crumb, I started in Carson and Beast was like the big name in Carson. So I was under someone named Recognize and then I left the fam to be under Beast. And yeah, so I was Little Beast, but Beast stopped dancing. I just took over the name. Yeah, because that's when Crump was super like Christ up and Christian and stuff. And my big homie name was Hellboy. <laughs> and I was always like a rebel. So I knew like it was super Christian and Christ up. I was like, well, I'm gonna make everyone mad be Hellboy. So. <laughs> um, but then I decided like that's that's dumb and I, I always look up to Tanai so I wanted to change my name and I think Beast was the only thing that fit me so that, that hits steady. <laughs> okay, next question. What will happen to Beast in the next two years and then five years? Um, I would like to maintain what I'm doing like traveling, teaching, battling, sessioning but it just gets harder every level you reach you know because more expectation, more like you know what people yeah just expectation and kind of like when you build yourself a certain way that's what makes them comfortable so when you start to do something else they get uncomfortable and don't like it but that's my group and if you really support me watch my growth you know so that, but that's always the struggle so I, I want to maintain that I love battling I love like sessioning I love just being crunk but then I also love like other styles of dance I've been blessed to like meet a lot of people and they want to learn crunk but then I want to learn what they're learning so we're getting to like exchange and we even did that this trip to where I didn't even know Sean Evaristo was teaching in the same studio I was the same day right after my class yeah. Yeah. and he took my class <laughs> So I had to take his class and um, yeah, we were always doing one-on-ones but to be in each other's elements was like such a big shock. Like when I started the workshop with a battle, he was like, does this always happen? Like, no. He was clueless, he was like, what? Yeah. And when I was dancing, I was like, I hope he's okay. Like, I hope he doesn't think I'm a bad guy. It's just, it's fun. How do you feel about his class? It was fun. Um, I always admire his movement and to really be a student and you have to really follow like his pace and all that. It was fun and I have a hard time remembering like choreography or like just a certain style. It's like super fast hip hop. Like I'm not there, but with his type of dance style, I could like really feel it, you know. So yeah, it was like a dream come true and uh, yeah, I can't wait to do it again. Hopefully. We get to collab. <laughs> Filipinos! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alright, I have four. <laughs> oh. It's like a tie. So for sure, Black Sea. Well, Twin B doesn't count because Titan, uh, Girl Haka, and Queen Zaidi. <laughs> He's thinking, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's always broken. 
<laughs> Hardest opponent you've ever battled with, or maybe you think uh, yeah. okay, the past. Oh, so for past, it would be for sure J and Y. Yeah, we. Oh. Yeah, we always we've been battling for a long time. If you look up like Baby Tarai versus. Uh, Bruiser, we battled like 2013, 2014, and then we battled at Crumpire last year at the get off, and then in the final at the eight bucks. And it's so stressful because, like, he's so good. We're almost similar, but he's better at certain things than I am, and vice versa. So it depends, like, you really have to, like, stay strong, and, you know, our energies are, yeah, so. He's someone I always would have a hard time battling because he would destroy you really fast. <laughs> yeah. What about in the future? Who you think you um, in the future, I would love to battle Spartan. Yeah, he's the person that I study the most besides Tatars. And, um, yeah, he's just way too good. I would love to try to figure out that puzzle to try to find a way to beat him one on one, and uh, and also challenge myself to not even try to do it my way, but really try to beat him at his own game. That's what I mostly do at battles, especially if I call someone out. I would try to beat them at what they're good at, so I can really push my practice, you know, because I could always do the kill off way and what I'm good at, but it, it's not really fun. session was dead and you know when the session's dead everyone's like oh come on everyone yeah. so he just came in and he's like a buff like kind of like uh enforcer or a record type so he was just and Todd was there too so he was just going and going and it made Todd eyes like go crazy to where he started dancing and like I felt like everyone felt him and there was the connection to where like people were doing this so Todd eyes like threw and everyone backed up and then everyone like yeah everyone threw back at tie eyes and he was like so it was that back and forth like exchange with the session and it was just insane so to come from like prince and when he asked me to be uh his big homie i was like yo my first memory of you is like the buggest thing i ever seen like <laughs> i should be real <laughs> so yeah that's for you and for the other part uh, um, I remember Australia. I'm going from top of my head, so okay. don't hate me. Um, in Australia, again, it was with Todd Eyes. We were um, in a car park, and it was just a loop. Like I would loop tracks, and it was just like Todd Eyes saying like three words and over and over and over again. And we would just go. And I remember Todd Eyes saying like I'm not stopping until you stop. And I'm like. No, because because I was like I was trying to stop when you stopped. So yeah, and we session for like we session for like five hours. And in the level of Todd eyes, like he just gets better throughout the session. It was such a hard thing to keep up with, but it was really a uh, fun. And I was the only like little homie that was there to like keep the session alive. It, it was fun for that. Um, around Asia. For sure, it would be the Philippines. Um, I'm just trying to remember which one though. Um, I feel like because it's that 10 year anniversary weekend, whatever session I was at with Twin Beasts and 1K. Whenever I was with those two, the session was just too much. Like, yeah, yeah, so, and there was a time when I was here a lot and we would like go to the South sessions, that we would go up, we would even go to Baguio, like, it was just. So, whatever sessions I was at with them in the Philippines was the buckets, like, in Asia or maybe ever. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Crump Um, let me see. At the time when I was romping, I had like a lot of family issues, so I don't know. 
I don't even think I would be dancing. I I was playing instruments. I was playing guitar a lot and so and um, that was like a good release and um, but crump oh fair. But yeah, I'll do instruments or I used to fight though. I used to like bop and do wrestling and I still like do that a lot, practice it or follow like UFC and stuff. That's why we call Beast Camp Beast Camp because of my background and how people train at camps. So I think I wouldn't be dancing, I'll be like fighting. I would yeah. be like a boxer yeah. or something. So. I don't want to be a person who would be like that. It's a twin BJ. Oh. Likes <laughs> hitting stuff. <laughs> so when he went to this um, MMA training just one time, he was like, one more, one more. Yeah, he didn't yeah, want to yeah. stop. He just, he just, sometimes it's for people. He you know, their body. Can you say, nakakapag pa ka pa? Mali! <laughs> the first time I was in the Philippines, they tried to do that. Oh, what is it? 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 What is Kabilugan ng buwan. Kabilugan ng buwan. Buwan ng kabilugan. Kabilugan. Kabilugan ng buwan. Buwan ng kabilugan. Buwan ng kabilugan. Ano ano? Ano ano? Ano ano? Kabilugan ng buwan. Buwan ng kabilugan. Wait, start again. Kabilugan ng buwan. Buwan. Buwan ng kabilugan. 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 Yeah. Kabilugan ng buwan, buwan ng kabilugan. For your final question, is it lights on or lights off? Lights on. Why? They need to see me. That's what I said a while ago. They need to see every greatness that is right there. What is your message for Philippine crop women or Kabayan crop women? Um, I think it's just balance, you know, like we're, we're in a season of new things happening, old things or old people maybe being scared of new things happening, you know, and you have to understand from both sides, like a lot was done for paths to be made, but you can't be so scared of the path that you make, you know, so, and for the new people, like you have to pay respects to what, what people did that yeah you're walking on the path that people made so i think it's balance even in regards to like events or gatherings sometimes you don't need to gather for an event you know like you could just gather for a lab or you could gather for session or you could gather just to hang out you know or you could switch up the event to like maybe rent out a house or go to someone's house and make an event at a house you know so you can have that balance of that old school feel but then you have a schedule so it feels new so people feel like they're getting their money's worth but then you'll still have that old school feeling of like we're living together because that's what crump was you know like we used to live together, did life together. Yeah, but but then there was no structure. So now that there can be structure, we wake up, eat breakfast, lab, you know, maybe like play games or something. So yeah, I think it's just balance. Um, continue to like learn from each other. So yeah, I think that's my message for the Trump community out here because um, you don't want to be, you don't want to forget people, but then you don't want people to not make their name known just just as well as your name. Find that balance. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, before we end this, um, I have something for you. Salute. Yeah, it's my merch. It's my clothing line, uh, Black Sheep Clothing. Yes. You see it for yourself. It's Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. Black Sheep Clothing. You know it's a new one. You gotta strip it. Being different isn't a bad thing. It means you're brave enough to be yourself. Be different. Be different. That's all. Um, thank you for watching, guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for Beast for coming to Philippines and for accepting me to interview him in this episode. Also, thank you, Queenside, for allowing me to be my co-host for tonight. It's time for us to enjoy the party. 
<laughs> so let's go. Goodbye, guys. See you. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you.